about preparation for Stanford? If it's been a little bit different this year, given the history that you guys have with Stanford having not beaten them, is there any kind of difference in the preparation? Um, no, we go into every game pretty much saying we set our game plan based on what the defense does and based on what we do well against that kind of defense, and we roll with it. And we just do things we do and we do them well. What is it about Stanford that has given you guys such trouble? You know, uh, we, we for the past few years, we caused ourselves a lot of problems. You know, we hurt ourselves with penalties and mental errors and, you know, just different things like that. And so I think that when we eliminate those, Stanford's team doesn't make a lot of mistakes. You know, they do what they do and they do it well. And so if you make mistakes, they'll beat you. If you don't, you can play with them and you can beat them. And so that's what we're going into this game, just being mistake-free and doing what we do and doing it well. Does it feel like a crucial hurdle for the program, just given the recent history against Stanford? No, I think it's just another um, it's another step in the road to where we get to where we want to get to. And we're just approaching this game like it's every other game. We're going to work hard. You know, we're going to prepare well. And we're going to go play football on Thursday. What does Stanford do that's so effective? That's been so effective the last couple of years. Their defense. What do they do? I mean, they're a hard-nosed football team. You know, they play hard. They don't make mistakes. They have good gap control. They don't give up big plays. And you know, they wait for you to make mistakes. You know, with Stanford, you know, you're going to get about seven, eight drives of offense. And if you don't make those count, you're going to have problems beating them. And so we just got, got to go out there and play mistake free football and make it count. Are you kind of looking forward a little to having your offensive line being the most experienced you guys have ever been coming into? Because, you, you know, you've been inexperienced facing the last yeah. few years. Now you have a lot of experiences. Are you kind of relishing this opportunity? Yeah, definitely. We definitely have a little chip on our shoulder, and we want to go out there and, you know, and play a good game against those guys. They're a good football team, and it's a good measuring stick for, you know, for us as an O-line. Chip on your shoulder, is that just coming off your first loss, or is are there other factors going into that today? You know, it's just coming in off of playing the offensive line for UCLA. We, we bear the brunt of the blame, you know, for a lot of things for a while now. For, before I got here, it's just been the offensive line, just kind of been the kind of you know, whipping boy. So we kind of have a chip on our shoulder still. And, you know, we take that into our work. We take that into practice, into the weight room. You know, since I got here, that's kind of been the thing is we just have to have that chip on our shoulder. We got to fight and earn the respect that we want every single week. And so we carry that chip on our shoulder every week from the beginning of the season until now. Nothing's changed. You more comfortable at tackle or guard? I'm more comfortable with tackle, but I can do everything, so it's not really a big deal. Quarterback? I can do it all, man. <laughs> I can do it all. Option for you? Man. <laughs> Down the line, you never know. They move me around a lot, so you might see me back there. Receiver, but I'm going to just leave that on the yeah. Wildcat? Yeah. Wild so you just give that away. Yeah. Yeah.